mondo mondo wak mondo mondo wak wak mondo 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 wak mondo mondo wak wak stop worrying about the changes to the 2013 2014 common app they are great changes and they're going to help your child be a better candidate my name is evan forster and i am the co-founder of forster thomas educational and career consulting here in new york city and today i want to talk about the changes to the essays that have been made for this year's common application there are three parts here one there's no more topic of your choice. Rest in peace. That actual question is gone. Two, there is a hardcore limit of 650 words. That's it. And three, there's no more activity essay. All of these are good things. Let me break it, each one of them down for you. The topic of your choice, although I say rest in peace, it's actually been resurrected okay in another form it's in prompt number one and it's the one that talks about some students have a background or a story that they really want to tell it's central to who they are you get to tell it so stop worrying about it the second thing i want to talk to you about is this new limitation right the one where they go uh-uh 650 that's it that is a really good thing okay when you give somebody the box of eight crayola crayons and they draw a phenomenal picture that's creativity. That's amazing. It's not so amazing if, you think, if that person needs the box of 64 Crayola crayons to draw the same picture. That's it. Okay? That's the goal here. And also, I want to say, even though they're giving you 650 words, I'm telling you, less is more. Actually, target 500. You're going to have a better, tighter essay and that admissions officer is going to love you for it. I promise you. Okay? And then finally, you know, the activity essay. What they're doing is make, leaving it up to the schools. They're throwing it over to that supplemental essay, that extra essay. And every school gets now to decide whether they're going to put the activity essay in or out. So let's not worry about something that hasn't happened yet. Wait till the schools come out with their applications and then you can decide how you're going to approach it. And we're going to talk about that and also the other essay prompts, the failure questions, the, you know, all the options that you have or the accomplishment in other videos. But what I really want to address at this moment is the fear that you're going through, the real fear. Okay, mom, dad, you know what you're going through. It's what is what makes my child special now no longer going to have an opportunity to come through. I am telling you, don't worry, it's still there. The, in, in every question that they're asking, whether it's the failure one or whether it's the you know, story of your life or any of them, the goal is always the same. And that is, okay, not to regurgitate a resume or an activity list, you've already got that one. It's to pull out what makes your child worthy, what makes him really like those what, what is the special thing about him or her through a story that he or she wants to tell that shows how he thinks about the way the world works and how he exists in that world that's what shows maturity that's what makes great personal statements my name is evan forster i'm the co-founder of forster thomas educational and career consulting and i'm telling it to you like it is